Here, this white splendor arrives just in time for Christmas. Snow has a magical attraction, especially for children. Now snowmen are in high season. This tradition isn't all that old. The snowman became popular only in the 18th century as a symbol of the hard winter. But this image has changed due to improved living conditions and people increasingly enjoyed the cold season. In the mountains, however, the snow can prove to be a danger for humans and animals alike. A young chamois is stuck in the deep snow. Inexperienced as it is, it mustn't lose connection with the herd at all costs. But the young animal sinks deep into the snow and falls further and further behind. With the last of its strength, the young chamois escapes its plight and rejoins its mother in the nick of time. A devastating avalanche thunders down into the valley. This natural phenomenon can turn entire forests into firewood. Avalanches are winter's greatest danger in the Alps. The chamois are accustomed to this threat. If a herd has to cross a dangerous mountainside, the most experienced animal leads alone. Carefully, the chamois explores the situation and looks for a safe passage. At the same time, it creates a path in the deep snow for the rest of the herd to follow. But the remaining animals proceed only after the leader has safely reached the other side. The chamois show even more remarkable behavior on this occasion. The herd doesn't cross the hillside as one. Instead, the animals risk the dangerous passage one at a time. By doing so, the chamois instinctively reduce the strain on the snow cover and thus the risk of the entire herd being swept away by an avalanche. This danger is very real not only for the chamois, Ski tours are a fascinating way to enjoy the white splendor off the beaten track. Experienced skiers, however, always keep a careful eye on the snow underneath them. Too easily a snow shelf can break off and drag a careless skier deep beneath the snow. A 
Vanengrad Mountain near Davos. Here, researchers from the Swiss Federal Institute for Snow and Avalanche Research study the causes of avalanches. In this testing ground, profiles of the snow cover are created. 126, 2 cm. Jörg Schweitzer examines everything, from the lowest layer of granulated old snow to the fine flakes of the most recent snowfall. The quality of snow changes constantly and this results in the formation of distinct layers that can in extreme cases turn into dangerous slides. The snow masses above these slippery layers can easily start moving. The researchers cut out a block of snow to test its stability. With this kind of testing, a little jump usually suffices. Where the snow shears, the border layer is analyzed in meticulous detail. The data is sent to avalanche warning services. But today, nothing gets in the way of enjoying the deep powder snow. What attracts droves of tourists into the Alps today used to be a vital means of transportation in the not-so-distant past, for snow offers some advantages over regular ground travel. Last summer's hay is stored in small barns high up on the alpine pastures. In order to bring this dried grass to the valley to feed their livestock in the winter, farmers depended on an obvious method of transportation. They loaded the hay onto big sleighs. Occasionally, going down the mountains is risky even for the Alps' master climbers. But a trip with the hay sleigh is far from perfectly safe either. After all, a fully laden sleigh can weigh as much as 250 kilos. Across level stretches, they have to be towed to keep them from losing momentum. Once the path gets steeper, skillful steering is required to make sure the sleigh doesn't tilt. Few are masters of this art today. And if the driver loses control of his precious cargo, he invariably ends up in the ditch. This method of bringing in the hay requires careful attention and great skill, and in former times, serious accidents were common occurrences.
much more peaceful then as well as now was a ride in the horse-drawn sleigh. In the evening twilight, when the snowy landscape gradually sinks into darkness, it is time for the coachman to light his lanterns. And if then it softly starts to snow, the winter fairy tale is perfect. Fluffy snowflakes are dancing in the sky, just like in a movie scene. And indeed, this snow didn't originate in the clouds, but in a studio. Here, it is actually lava that is blown into the air. But creating snow at the push of a button is far from the real thing. Certainly nothing to compare to a genuine white Christmas. And luckily, sometimes nature plays along. On Christmas Eve, a festive mood prevails in the tranquil village of St. Nikolai. After church, many people come to see the Christmas nativity before returning home. Candlelight and the scent of fir trees fill the room. The anticipation grows, and with it, the impatience. But finally, the big moment arrives. The glow in the children's eyes stirs many an adult's fond memories of Merry Christmases past. A Christmas Eve that could hardly be more perfect. Inside everyone celebrates, while outside it snows. <laughs> 